Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another example video here on this beautiful channel. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is really, really quick just to bring up exceptions because I've been goofing about a lot and I've been really dumb and not knowing what I'm talking about. So an exception is something you're going to have to uh, work with, all right? It's, it's really important because exceptions are, are things where uh, if you're trying to access an array out of bounds, outside of its memory locations, you need to throw an exception, especially if you're making your own your own uh, arrays and stuff like that, dynamic arrays. And the thing is that exceptions show you what is wrong and what went wrong. Like if you make sure they're uh, detailed and, and you catch them and you try them and you catch them. So you don't have to catch a exception, a function that throws a, a exception. But you can, uh, if you know something is going wrong and you know it's at that point, you can try it. You can make a try-catch block and you can see what's going on. So uh, let's just go ahead and do this. We'll make a void func. All right, we'll call it, we'll give it an integer. And the thing is that if the integer is above a certain number, we'll throw an exception. Otherwise, we'll, or actually we'll return that int otherwise. So uh, let's just say, if i larger than 10, we'll do something or else we'll, actually we'll just do this. And then return i. So if it's larger than ten, ten will throw. Then ten ex exception. Okay. Imagine this was thrown. Throw is about the same as return. It it goes out. It breaks out of the function. It tells the program something went wrong. Something is bad here. Okay. So if we say func eleven here. Nothing really is going to happen right now. It's just not going to return. Or it's going to, yeah, exactly. Unhandled exception. I'm sorry. See, I'm goofing about again. I, sh I know this. Well, unhandled exception at something. So we know it's an exception. So we say, hmm, okay, something happened here at this point. Let's try func. So we'll make a try catch block around it. And a try catch block is basically just exactly this. You try, try block. This is your try block. You try anything with an exception throwing thingy in here and then you catch it now we're gonna catch it with a char array with a char array because this is you can't do string here right I mean it's it's old this stuff is old so you need to catch it with a char array this is just the way it is so you, that's all you have to think about uh, but this is going to be cut then because we're throwing a char array an array of characters here right it's a string a string is a char array of characters but it's a little different but uh, but basically in its base that's what it is. So that's why we can catch this. With it. If we threw something else, an exception here, a specified exception that C++ has, uh, different types of exceptions you can throw, uh, really specific ones, then we can catch something else in here. Okay, we could have caught an exception E in here, but we'll talk about that uh, later. But this is the simple one. So we'll just see out C. Okay, and we'll make sure that it prints that exception out because we caught it. Now we caught it. Now it's not going to complain. Okay, because we caught that exception. Larger than 10 exception. Okay, what if we do 5 in here? Since 5 is not, nothing's going to happen, right? We, we could print out, um, well, what we could do is, we could do this. Funk. Funk, yeah, okay. Hell yeah. Okay, so it printed out five, right? Because the try try block won't destroy the function itself. Like it will only try it, and it will catch the exception if there actually is an exception to be caught. Okay, so if we said twelve here, it would say larger than ten exception. So that's basically it. That's the exceptions, or that's exceptions. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think I've ever said exceptions so many times in my life. But that's it. And I hope you learned something, and you can use this in any situation, and it's really good to use. Just keep track of where you throw stuff because it's going to break out of the function. And if you have a large function with a lot of throws, you might want to comment it. So you want to say like, uh, except exception one right here. And then you like do all that stuff. And you can even comment it here like throws except exceptions. Is that how you write exception? Yes, it is. See, I know some stuff. I'm not totally dumb. But uh, yeah, this is your try-catch block. Try-catch block, all right? 
and you do that stuff, or well, this is your try block and this is your catch block. But anyway, a block is this stuff right here, the uh, between two of these. So uh, yeah, I hope you learned something, work hard, get real good, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.